Today I want to talk about 10 absolute truths about God. Number one, God will never, ever leave you. Hebrews 13 says, God has said, I will never, never fail you, nor forsake you. You know, it doesn't matter who has walked out on you. God will never, ever walk out on you. It doesn't matter who has abandoned you. God will never abandon you. Secondly, God is always just a prayer away. People ask this all the time. How do I know God hears me when I pray? Or why would he ever listen to me? First of all, the scripture says in Psalm 56, 9, the very day I call for help, the tide of the battle turns. Secondly, why would he listen to you? Well, why wouldn't he listen to you? You have to remember it's not based on who you are. It's based on who he is. Your access to him is not limited by your past mistakes. You have access to him because he's a loving father. Thirdly, God will always love you. The scripture says in Romans, I'm convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. A lot of people can't seem to comprehend the love of the father because of their experience with their own father, their earthly father. Maybe you can't relate because your earthly father was conditional with his love. Or maybe he was harsh. Maybe he was very militant and rule oriented. Let me encourage you with this. Don't get him mixed up with who your heavenly father is. God loves you with an everlasting love. Number four, God will always forgive your sins. And thank God for that. You know, God sent his only son, Jesus, to die on a cross for our sins. He was buried, he was resurrected, so that we might live for him in eternity. And the great thing is salvation is a free gift, but you have to accept it. You simply say, God, forgive me of my sins, come into my heart, I confess that you're the Lord of my life and I'm gonna live my life for you. It's that easy. The scriptures say when you receive Jesus into your heart, the angels are rejoicing in heaven over you. First John 1 9 says, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Number five, God doesn't hold your mistakes against you. Now I love that. Psalm 103 says, He's removed our sins as far as the east is from the west. The book of Hebrews says, For I will forgive their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. Let me tell you something really important. Stop reminding God of what He has already forgotten. He's forgiven you, and He's forgotten about it. Now it's time for you to keep moving forward. Number six, God will give you the strength that you need. Isaiah 40 says this, but those who hope in the Lord or who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. In times when you feel like you can't go on, call out to God for strength. He's gonna give you supernatural strength to live each day. Number seven, God will protect you. Psalm 32, seven says, you are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. I love this. He gives his angels charge over us to protect us and to keep us safe. We don't have to live in fear because God is our protector. Number eight, God will fight for you. The scripture says in Exodus 14, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Why don't you take time today and be still and hear what God is saying? You may be facing obstacles. You may, may be facing big mountains today. My encouragement to you is to be still and follow what He's telling you to do. Don't try to figure it out on your own. Let Him fight this battle for you. Number nine, God will bring you comfort. The scripture says in Psalm, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The scripture also says that God is close to the brokenhearted. See, God wants to comfort you when you're going through hard times. He wants you to run to Him and not away from Him. And lastly, number 10, there's many more, but I picked out 10 today. Number 10, God will meet all of your needs. Philippians 4.19 says, My God shall supply all of your needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Listen, God's not worried about the economy. He's not moved by the interest rate and inflation. He has everything under control and he's gonna take care of you. So don't worry, trust 
in Him. Trust that God has it all figured out. I hope this has encouraged you today, and until next time, I hope you have an amazing day.